Let's talk about your transition from actor um, to writer director. Um, as you were approaching this film, and I think it's also interesting that this film um, it's very much out of tone with the movies that you're known for. Um, obviously, Sex Drive we mentioned, but Hot Tub Time Machine. Some of these other movies are really broad comedies. Um, did you get any pushback on that? You're you're coming. I want to be a writer director, but hey, I'm known for these very broad comedies. Did you get any pushback from your management or ultimately the investors on that? Yeah, none of them wanted me to be in the film, really. <laughs> For, okay. <laughs> I mean, just, just to be totally honest, because I don't see why not to be at this point. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was pushback because you get, you know, like you said, you get you get typecast in a role, and that's all people see you as. So, I mean, that was part of the my reasoning behind trying to really change the way I looked in the movie. Um, because, A, it helped me as an actor kind of compartmentalize and get in the character. But... Yeah, I did. I, I, you get in this thing where you do one thing well, and then that's, you get cast as sort of that same thing over and over. And I also am very specific looking and, um, and recognize from those movies. So I wanted to change the way I look just so, A, for myself to help with the character work, but also just so that I wasn't a distraction or bringing as much of that baggage with me to the audience. Um, mm -hmm. But, I, you know, I also, I was frankly like, nobody else is going to write me a part this good. Like, and I'm really glad that I, I did act in it because... Um, I enjoyed doing it, and, and I think I would have been devastated if I hadn't been. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Selling Your Screenplay podcast. If you'd like to hear the full interview, just go to sellingyourscreenplay.com slash podcasts. Or to go directly to the episode, just use the link in the show notes. Thanks for watching.